Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today I prepare stuffed poblano peppers, smoky and spicy. And we visit Chris Yambar's Shivers exhibit, spooky. But first, a haunt for the entire family in Liberty. It was once the Logan Mansion and then became the Sacred Heart Retreat House. It is now the Woodland Cellars Haunted Mansion, Haunted Wine Trail, and Kitty Haunt. It hits all the right notes for an adult or kid-friendly night out with a scare. I mean, how, what, what are we going to do with this property when it's not haunted? Okay. <laughs> the, yeah, the, I mean, the process was fairly natural. You, you know, we're walking through here with the flashlights and... Uh, just exploring, trying to figure things out, and it, it just kind of fell into place with the haunted part, you know. Yes. Just, you had that creepy vibe, you know, any big vacant building at nighttime. Oh well, yeah, vibe. and I mean, there's everything, all the windows, the stairways, I mean, it just lends itself. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, you can you can picture the future when it's all cleaned up and situated, how beautiful it'll be. I mean, it's, it's an awesome property, awesome building. Uh, but for now, <laughs> with it being empty and abandoned for you know, almost 15 years, yeah. It definitely has a little bit of that, that spooky vibe, and when you get Cornell involved and everybody, I know. the whole production, you, you get a, you're into a whole new ball game. Well, That's you know, cool. every year I, I do one of Cornell's haunts yep. because he is the master. And uh, when he told me about this project, I was blown away. We are going to go through the house, the trail, and then there's wine at the trail. Yes. Yep. It, We'll have uh, three wine stations. You'll be able to get the tickets ahead of time. Um, so as you're going through the trail, there'll be the wine stations at the beginning, middle, and towards the end uh, in the woods. And then it, they'll be coming in, and there's going to be the social distancing as people yes. enter. And uh, I mean, I think this is an excellent idea. Thank you. And um, let's get started. Did you dig so these up on the property? We found them out back, yes. No, no. Did you really? No, they're Cornells, of course. That's so cool, though. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool? Oh my! Was there a lot of critters? They didn't update that. Yeah, we had to. We had to do some evictions. Oh, jeez! Um, <laughs> it's tragic. Huge. Yeah, this this uh, when it is functional and up and running, we'll be. Uh, Welcome. The dream. This week. On the Casey Malone Show, we are going to be preparing a delicacy that is just in time for Halloween. And then we'll do some ground brain. Oh, did you see him? Okay. Now this is nice. Was he, did he come with the place? Good old Thorn. I was going to uh, pay for my early, you know, early installment. You never know when somebody will pop out. Oh. <laughs> it's creepy. I love it. So can you go into these individual rooms? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not going in there. Ah! Okay, no, I'm not going in there. Keep this one line. What was in there? I don't know. A turlet. Well, these were all for the retreat. So yes. these were all like dormitories. Yeah, dormitories. dormitories. There's, uh, I think, 36 dorm rooms. Mm -hmm. We made it through. Mm -hmm. So from here, oh, no. we continue through. There's the children's haunt. Yes. You, you cut left down the ramp. You go past the children's haunt, and then it'll go into the woods. And you're about a quarter mile, quarter mile loop into the woods. And then you come back down, if you can see that uh, yeah. trail coming down the hill there. Uh, right past the abandoned fun house and a couple other things back there. So, you, yeah, you, come on over and give the electric chair a try. Two minute escape room electric chair. It's featured out here. Now, Sally, I'm gonna go in here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be locked into this little isolated booth. What, what, what have I got to do? Like, what are my requirements? All I can really tell you is that when you're going to go in, you're going to sit on the red button there. And when <laughs> you sit on it, it starts and you have two minutes to look around and figure out how to get out. 
Okay. And I know it feels like I'm telling you nothing, but I am. You aren't telling right. me anything. I Must I, I always be sitting there? You don't have to. No, you don't have to sit the whole time. But you have the button has to be pushed the whole time, or you'll lose. Now start. You have decided to sit on the electric chair. Your time has started. You only have two minutes. <laughs> Do anything? Come on! You're losing. You are a total failure. How embarrassing! You make me laugh. I'm a loser. So this is with the haunted wine trail. This is the entrance to the trail. We have, uh, it's about a quarter mile loop through the woods. And as you can see, it's it's paved. The, now is just, this original? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Came with the place too, the walking trail and the isolation oh, that's area. that's nice. <laughs> that's a Cornell installation yes. there. Yes. It was just about a week before everything got started. My wife was walking the trail and I got the call in the morning. I almost got hit by a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this came it. down this came down just before we set this up while while my wife was walking the trails. The tree came crushing. And then we have oh some of the Oh my gosh, there's my first grade teacher. Some of the stationary dummies that are leaned up against. <laughs> Hi Sister and <Aunt> Joseph. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my. Highly creepy. Mm -hmm. Hanging tough. But this, this is the setup of the altar bar getting that all situated. We have the big fire bowl behind us and uh, the cauldron. I'm a monkey! I, ah, I knew it! <laughs>
and this has got a little bit of a kick. This will be my stuffed poblano peppers. For this recipe, you'll need three or four poblano peppers, one and a half pounds of your favorite hot Italian sausage, one half cup of cooked rice, one small onion diced, one egg, a third cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, one 10 or 14 ounce can of spicy diced tomatoes or your favorite salsa, queso fresco cheese or shredded taco blend cheese. Well, I've already preheated the oven to 375 degrees. And I took the small onion that was diced and put that with a little bit of butter in a uh, small skillet and I've softened it. So we can add that to the recipe. And then I cooked off a half cup of rice, which probably brought it to almost a full cup. And I have my 9 by 13 pan and I treated it with cooking spray. And now I will take the diced tomatoes with green chilies. There's a lot of different brands of this. Or you can take your favorite picante or salsa and use that as the base. And then I am just going to pour this into the bottom of the dish. So now we'll begin assembling everything else. This recipe is enough for six to eight stuffed poblano peppers, depending on the size of the pepper. These are a nice medium size. And I destemmed them, and then I took out all the seeds, and then I cut them lengthwise. So it'll be a nice little pepper boat to hold the hot sausage. And right now I have six ready to go. So then I'll assemble the meat. We have a pound and a half of hot sausage. I will add the cooked onion. I will add the egg. And then the rice. And the breadcrumbs. And that's it. That is all you need. Now we'll just get in there and mix it all together. And the egg night, you know, is nice for the moisture. And then, of course, with the rice, you have a nice binder along with the breadcrumbs. And I mean, this isn't hard and fast. If you want to have a little more starch in there, you can always make more rice. If you don't want any starch, you really don't need to add the rice. So now, you start assembling them. And it's probably, uh, what would that be? About a half a cup. And I just try to evenly line the pepper with this. So it will cook evenly once we pop it in the oven. And you just kind of form it along the line of the pepper. Leave a little bit of height in there. But you don't want to overstuff it because then it'll take that much longer to cook through. So then we just, there, perfect, beautiful, nice and put that in our dish. These filled up the pan perfectly. Six gorgeous peppers. Cover them with foil, and we are gonna pop them in the oven for 30 minutes. Well, I just pulled these out. It's been 30 minutes. Remove the foil. I'm not going to put the foil back on. And I really like the queso fresca cheese. It's a mild, soft, crumbly Mexican cheese, and it really works nicely with this dish. If you're not a fan of this, you can use um, a taco Mexican blend shred, or you don't have to use any cheese at all. But now that you remove the foil, you just want to get these browned a little bit on top and get these cooked further. But I'll tell you, these smell amazing. So I'm gonna pop these back in, uncovered for another 30 minutes, and then dinner will be served. So it's about an hour baking time total at 375, and then let them rest a little bit just to, you know, settle down a little bit, about five or 10 minutes before you serve them. And, um, you know, I always have been a big fan of your traditional. Oh, my stuffed The peppers. good old Stella stuffed peppers. Yeah, Stella stuffed with the red or the yeah. green bell peppers and, you know. Whatever's in season. Wonderful um, ground beef and that. But what do you think of the uh, kicked up version? Little, I have been dying to taste them. Little bam. Oh, they're great. Aren't they good? They're very good. And I love these peppers. The poblano is mild, 
Mm-hmm. It doesn't have that bitterness to it, but it's no. smoky. Mm-hmm. And I think they're really good. Very, now, very because good. there's a little bit of heat, I thought that the um, California Cider Company, they make Ace. This is a pineapple cider. It is not real sweet, but it really will cut through some of the heat and it, it's refreshing with uh, this kind of dish. What do you think? Here's to white. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to the pineapple. Cheers! That's right. Mmm, this is really it is good. Mmm. It's a nice oh, palate that is cleanser. Mm-hmm. I like that. Well, just go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com, for the uh, stuffed poblano pepper recipe. And you are going to love it. They're Thanks, delicious. Mom. Oh, cheers! Cheers! The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. When someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. These are challenging times. Strong leadership is needed. Re-elect Prosecutor Paul Gaines, Sheriff Jerry Green, and Coroner David Kennedy. Elect Joe Schiavone for County Court Judge. Your Mahoney County Democratic candidates. Experience you can trust. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. Made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge on taking because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. In these challenging times, vote experience you can trust. Congressman Tim Ryan supports State Rep Michelle Lepore Hagan and Chris Stanley for 59th District State Rep. Your Mahoning County Democratic candidates. Proven results for our valley. He is back. That's right, Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery is open for business. Oh. So glad. Yes, Casey. First, I want to thank everybody, all of our guests that have supported us over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, it's been amazing just to see the response. But yeah, we're back in effect. Patio's open, inside dining's open. We're back to full menu. We'll be supporting all of our farms again, all of our local breweries, back to our happy hours, our weekend specials. So, you know, we're following all the guidelines. The staff's excited, and it's just, we're, we're ready just to get back and keep going. 
Farm to table, great service. Of course, a huge selection of beer and wine. And oh, I am just so glad. I yes. missed you, Reed. Yes, we are looking forward to it. So thank you again to the community. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Come on out, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. It will give you shivers. He gives me the shivers. It's exciting to be in the presence of Chris Yambar. Wow. Shivers is the name of his latest show here at the Soap Gallery running through October. And it is the season for Halloween. Oh, yeah. And you really went full out horror. Absolutely. Is that what your favorite genre? Well, it's one of, of my favorite gen genres. But uh, I decided to go with horror and take a clear back to the old silent films and work my way up to the most modern would be Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror, love that. And you got Tim Curry here. I yeah. love him. Barnabas Collins, he's right over your shoulder. Yep. I ran home from school every, Darkness. every night to make sure that I did not miss Dark Shadows. But the scariest of all oh. would be Mr. Gambar. That is a great picture of you. Who, now, who took that? This picture was taken by Elaine Manasekis. And she's awesome. Were you trying to be frightening or is this No, I, you, that's, uh, that's just me. They you know what's playing funny? the I, guitar. Yeah, I don't play guitar. I just I just <laughs> I just pose with one. Curse of the Werewolf was the only werewolf film that Hammer Films ever made. Now Hammer Films were they were famous for the Dracula films with uh, Peter Cushing and they were famous for the uh, a million different Frankenstein takes, okay? But this was the only werewolf film they ever made, and it's so, it's run away, I think, hand over fist, or hand over fang. Okay. Uh, way better than the American Wolfman. And this one, that I mean, is That amazing. is from The Man this Who Laughs. And he was actually the hero of the film, okay? He was actually scarred by a king who was jealous because his love, the king's love interest was in love with him. So he cut his mouth up as a, and, and threw him into the, into the wilderness to die. Now who is the golem? The golem was an inanimate life form fashioned out of clay, a giant defender of the Jewish people. Now oddly enough, the movie The Golem, the silent movie, shows that it was made by German expressionists. Okay, so it was the German take on the mystical aspects and what they, what they considered magical aspects of, and mythology of the Jewish people. And, and Lily Munster. There's the lighter the side. And that's, she's, that's des she's designed, these images are designed to look like old black and white television that's been colorized. Okay, that's why it's got the streaks and the whole entire bit. And, and then your homage to your favorite beverage. Absolutely, one of my favorite beverages, absolutely. And then Lon Chaney, I mean, he's gotta be up there when Chaney G. He's, he's in the show a couple times, but the family opera, the real family opera, not the that, true. that beautiful singing, Lord, yeah. oh, shut yeah. up. <laughs> so this is one of your all-time favorite movies. Nosferatu. Yeah, this is actually what Dracula was supposed to be. This, this actually came out, oh, I don't know, like 20 some years uh, more, or, or yeah, about 20 some years before the Bela Lugosi Dracula. See, that's all romanticized, you know, the, the Bela Lugosi. It's clean, and you never, and Bela Lugosi never really shows fangs. Plan 9 from Outer Space, an Ed, an Ed Wood Jr. film. That's what, that was supposed to be one of the worst films ever made, and it's actually one of the most fun films ever made, and it has incredible style. And Blackula. Ah, uh, Blackula. Yeah. Another one of your favorites. I, I mean, I, they they had two Blackula movies. There's Blackula and Scream. Blackula Scream. Okay, where where they brought him back from the life. It's more of a voodoo film, sort of. But it's the first black vampire. I love Tim Curry. So do I. I mean, and, yep. and this is you know an annual tradition. I try to watch this movie in October yes. every year. Get, get better, Tim, please, if it's possible. Thank you for everything you've done in cinema. We and appreciate it's true. it. We love it you, man. True. And there's the Metropolis, Metropolis robot. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Yep. This is a, a, a woman who's 
who's being merged with a robot, okay? And she becomes uh, an Antichrist figure in a, um, a futuristic uh, industrial um, world. And she's leading the workers up against the surface world and the hierarchy that's there. It's one of the most intense films ever made. It's one of the best science fiction films. If you don't, don't tell me about Star Wars and don't tell me about science fiction if you have not watched Metropolis. So I like that you're going smaller. 16, um, 16 by 20. So, and I try to keep the prices affordable so the average person could put it on their Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or cash. And <laughs> cash. As Gene, as Gene would say, cash. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, but I, I, think, I think that's important. And by the way, if you buy the soap gallery, they're $150 cheaper than what they are online. Oh, so, and well, um, how late is the show running? Until November the 2nd. Okay, so you've got through November the 2nd to do some Christmas shopping. But I also want to mention that you are sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. How appropriate, how did how you, appropriate is I that? I mean, look at that. Chris Yambar now has corporate sponsorship. What do we have to look forward to? What's your uh, next? I'm gonna teach you, I may teach you, depending on how things go with Monster, I may have to teach you how to cook with Monster. I would love that. How about that, cooking with a monster? Stay tuned. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.